Well, Joyce, many in this community are heartbroken to see this beloved building in this state now boarded up and significantly damaged. Several people we spoke with are worried about what's next for this West Seattle staple. It's awful. I mean, this has been a staple of this neighborhood for a very long time. Now the future of this staple is going through uncertain times. After a fire ripped through the historic Camp Long Lodge Monday night after 8 p.m. Open up my front door, look out the window and just saw flames billowing up over the building over there. I mean, it, they were probably like 15 feet high. Olivia Rapp lives right across the street from the building that's been in this neighborhood since 1937. The center of community there and we, we I go there all the time with my kids. I love seeing it in the snow. Um, it's been there for so long and I think I just felt just really sad. Seattle police found multiple broken windows. They're investigating if that's where people may have gotten inside. SPD also says two cabins on the Camp Long property appeared to be broken into as well. Kind of brings tears to my eyes. Um, very sad. It's a wonderful place. People grew up here. The building was built nearly nine decades ago. Since then, Seattle residents have used the site for camping and special events like birthdays and funerals. Lots of memories. We walk here all the time. I've been to services in the lodge and events. It's just a beautiful place. Police say nothing was stolen from the lodge or cabins as these neighbors Hope the city will rebuild this important historic site. I'm very optimistic. I couldn't, I couldn't imagine West Seattle without it. I hope the community rallies. I hope we can rebuild it and save, save the history of the building and um, bring it back to life. Now, as far as the future of this lodge, parks officials say that there is no timeline on when it could reopen. Joyce. So we do know the lodge is closed to the public, but what about the rest of the Camp Long property? Well, Joyce, the whole park was actually closed to the public today, but parks officials did say that they do plan on opening the rest of the park tomorrow. Joyce. All right. Well, good news for people who still want to make a visit there. Brady Wakayama in Seattle, West Seattle for us.